Hello guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you to all my current subscribers and my new subscribers. If you don't know, my name is Paul and I'm an online reseller. I've been selling on eBay for quite a while now. Um, but I'm getting ready to change over to Facebook Marketplace. And that's what I wanted to talk to you all about today is Facebook Marketplace. Some people might think it's not good, but it is. I have dove into it within the last week. I've made more off of Facebook Marketplace than I have in eBay for the entire month, okay? And I wanna tell people out there that I know there's a lot of people that tried to sell on Facebook Marketplace and for some reason they're not able to ship orders, okay? A lot of people are saying, well, in order to be able to ship orders, you gotta have a certain amount of feedbacks or you gotta have a certain amount of sales before they allow you to start shipping orders and that is totally not true. Um, I was new to Facebook Marketplace and the first time I placed an ad, I was able to ship my product and get the money for my product. So I don't know where people are getting, you need a certain amount of feedback or a certain amount of sales because that's not totally not true. Now I do know that there are some product categories where you cannot ship in. So if you have a product that you're listing on Facebook Marketplace and it tells you you can't ship in that category, try a different category. You want to make sure the category adds up to your product in some way, coincides with your product in some way. But try a different um, product, try a different area of Facebook to list your product in so you will be able to ship your product. Now, the one bad thing that I don't like about Facebook Marketplace is when you start selling on Facebook Marketplace, if you sell an item on Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace doesn't pay out the payment until two days or a day after the customer gets their order. And I think that's just to protect people out there from getting screwed and customers getting screwed, okay? So what happens is if you sell a product, you gotta sell that you send that item to your buyer and then a day after it is confirmed that they received it or two days after then facebook marketplace will actually send your payment to your bank now of course you're going to need to set up your bank account information you're going to need social security number and everything to sell on facebook marketplace this is the same way on ebay and the reason why they do this is because of tax reasons okay i believe they do the same thing on etsy now and poshmark and Macari okay it doesn't matter who you are or what you do you're gonna need that information they need that information to send the payment to your bank and they need the information to send it to the taxes at the end of the year they'll send you a 1099 that's with any business if you don't want to give your social security number out to Facebook or eBay or Etsy whatever the case may be you can always get a tax ID number okay now that is one thing that people don't think about too much um, but if you don't want to give your regular social security number out to these people then i would suggest you go get a tax id number now the good thing with facebook marketplace is you make more of a profit on facebook marketplace i've been selling consistently for the last week um, i've had some sales where i met the people in person and they came to me to pick up their item that was pure profit in my pocket. Facebook don't charge you any money. If you put a ad to sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace and you put local pickup, you don't get charged no ad fees on Facebook or anything like that. The people will contact you, will set up a time they can pick up the product or you can meet them so they can pick up the product and it's pure money in your pocket. You don't have to pay no fees out of that. You don't have to pay no taxes out of that because it's cash to cash okay cash in from their hand to your hand pure profit all right and i've done that i've done a few in the last couple days and i have done some facebook marketplace orders for shipping now when you're shipping out an item um they will ask you how much you want to sell the item for and then they will ask you about the shipping weight um how they work that is you could use a prepaid shipping label so when the customer orders something from you, a product from you, you already set up the weight limit um, on Facebook. So Facebook will automatically charge whatever weight price it is, they'll charge to your buyer. 
So your buyer will, buyer will buy the item from you, pay that fee, and then they will pay a separate fee ahead of time to Facebook Marketplace to ship their order. So they paid for shipping. Now you can do free shipping, of course, if you want to um, on Facebook Marketplace. You could do that just like you do on eBay. But I'm going to tell you my story, and I want to try to get out of eBay totally. At the end of this year, I want to be done with eBay, and I would just want to transition to um, Facebook Marketplace. And the reason being is you're getting charged a lot less fees. Facebook Mark or, or eBay, sorry, eBay charges you a 30 cent transaction fee for each payment that you receive from a customer, plus they charge 10 point something percent on top of that other fee. Facebook, they only charge you one fee, okay? One fee, that's it, okay? And you don't pay no more to them. Now, I, the products that I sell, I make about three, almost three dollars more profit on the product that I sell on Facebook than I do on eBay. Not only do I make almost three dollars more profit on each product, but if I was to discontinue eBay and just sell on Facebook alone, I would save that $269 a year on store fees. Because for the basic store, which I have, I've had for a couple years now, the basic store, and I pay $21.95 a month. Of course, with that, you get a $25 um, gift certificate to use every three months for shipping supplies. But even with not getting that $25 shipping um, discount on supplies from eBay because you pay for the store fees, okay, um, that still is more money that I'm, I'm paying eBay more money than Facebook Marketplace. I will make more money off of Facebook Marketplace, like I said, almost $3 per product more Plus, I'll have the 269 cut off in fees, eBay store fees for the whole year, okay? So that's saving a lot of money. I would suggest that people that are not into Facebook yet, get into Facebook and get your feet wet. There are two options you could sell um, with shipping and pickup, okay? And if you pick shipping and pickup, um, then what that means is some of the items you will be shipping to your customers and some of the items you will be meeting the customer in person to pick up whatever you're selling, okay? Now remember, if they're picking up in your area, around your area, that is pure profit in your pocket. There's no fees on that. There's only fees on if you sell something and ship it. But if you meet the person in person or the person comes to you and picks up the item, that's pure profit in your pocket. Now, the way it works with Facebook is if you're shipping a product, that ad gets pushed out, okay? And I want to say this too. When you first post an item on eBay, it does get a little bit pushed out and you might get some few views on it and things like that. But you're not going to get no sales right away usually on eBay. Facebook, there's a good potential that you'll get sales right when you post it because Facebook post your ad all over in different areas on Facebook in different um, states and different cities okay if you're shipping your item your item gets posted a lot everywhere and you'll see you'll get a lot of views just within a couple hours you'll get a lot of people seeing your advertisement okay local pickup if you do a item for local pickup, they will post your ad in your local area for local pickup. And people in your local area will sh see your ad and be able to contact you. So keep that in mind. Now you could do shipping, just totally shipping, and you don't have to do pickup if you don't want to. You can just ship your items and that is fine too. Like I said, if you're posting an item on Facebook Marketplace and it says that you cannot ship your item, try a different category to ship your item in, okay? And you might be able to ship it in a different category. Just make sure it lines up with a, whatever product you're selling. Now, in the last week, I dove into this Facebook thing. I did a lot of sales 
um, shipping my orders and I did a lot of sales where the customers met me in person and picked up the orders and I made more money there in the last few days than I did on eBay the whole month okay and like I said when you post your ads on Facebook marketplace for sale and you're shipping the order you will see how many views it gets within a couple hours you can get a hundred people that viewed your listing within an hour okay or more and that is great that's what that's what's great about Facebook and the fees are great because like I said if I sell my products on Facebook marketplace I get almost three dollars more per item for my products and if I went full-time on Facebook I wouldn't have to pay $21.95 a month fees on the eBay fee store I would save two sixty nine dollars a year so think about that um, and if you haven't tried Facebook marketplace yet go and try it um, if you know there is something in your area that people buy a lot and you can grab hold of it and flip it for a profit on Facebook marketplace where you're posting locally and the person can pick up the item from you or you can deliver the item to the person try that okay try the shipping options like I said if you come to a category where you can't ship try to switch it to a different category because you may be able to ship your product the people that are saying that you need a certain amount of sales or a certain amount of feedback I don't know where they're getting that from but me myself I started posting on Facebook the first time shipped everything you know everything was good um, again like I wanted to make sure that you know with Facebook um, like I said you're gonna have to ship the item to your customer and then usually it takes Facebook a day or two to get that money to your bank account after it's confirmed that your customer got the product they ordered and I think that's just for the safety of customers and people so they don't get ripped off but if you become really good at Facebook marketplace and you continue to list items on Facebook marketplace for sale and they continue to sell just like eBay you're gonna get that revolving door of money anyway okay so you're gonna have money in your pocket okay just because you're waiting on an order that you shipped last week and you're waiting on that payment you know to come in a day after the customer gets the delivery you know if you constantly list on Facebook it's going to become revolving and that'll revolve and just keep on depositing money into your bank day after day after day after day it can be done so like I said if you're not in the Facebook marketplace yet go check it out um, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you have any questions about eBay USPS Facebook marketplace um, anything like that please leave them in the comments down below but I would suggest that you go check out Facebook marketplace because there is real money to be made I've on Facebook marketplace and you could be putting more money into your pocket even if you want to continue to do eBay Poshmark Etsy whatever the case may be go ahead and do that but get your feet wet in Facebook marketplace and you can put more money into your pocket see you in my next video